Welcome everybody to Our Green Acres. Hey y'all, hope everybody is having a great day. I want to bring y'all along. I went to my first yard sale for 2023 this morning. It was one of my friends. She asked me if I wanted to come pre-shop and she always has it so well organized in her garage. So I went and I was so excited. She always has tons of everything, home decor, jewelry, clothes, shoes, handbags, pretty much you name it and she has it. It's like walking in a retail store, but she does not have retail prices. She's got some phenomenal prices on her things because after she uses them for a while, she likes to move them on, find them a new home, and she likes to get new things and decorate with like, like I do. She loves to decorate her home as much as we all do. So she has to get rid of things and so she can bring in new things. So I'm just going to bring y'all along in her garage and I'm just going to take you around and show you some of the beautiful home decor pieces that she had at her pre-sale um, today. Her actual yard sale is going to be on May the 5th because we're, we are expecting rain here in Alabama this weekend. So she was afraid she may get rained out. But it was so sweet that she asked me if I wanted to come and pre-shop. And that way I didn't have to worry about the crowds. I could just take my time shopping. And I was there for about an hour and a half. And I just made a huge pile. And at the end, she could take her time on adding up everything that I got. And me and Ben, we loaded down the truck. We got it home. And I'm going to do some little mini series videos of the the haul of a lot of the things that I purchased, what I paid for them, and tell you a little bit about them. But her home decor comes from a lot of markets, little home decor boutiques, little little shops that we have in our local area. And she likes to travel and just go and shop at different places. Some of her pieces are even from Pier 1. So she has really good taste and really good style in home decor. So a lot of the stuff that she has fits into my home really well. Y'all know we just purchased a new condo. So it is going to need a lot of, you know, decor and I'm, you know, I'm still deciding how I want to style it, but a lot of these pieces will fit really well in, in my, in my new home also. But these little pieces right here, I thought were really cute. They were $2 each. And that is the thing about my friend Lynn that had the yard sale or is about to have the yard sale as she prizes her things to move them. She's not out to make a ton of money on them. She just wants to get them out of her way and move them on to a new home. So she offers them at really good deals. And she even asked if I had any friends that would like to come over and pre-shop. You know, she'd love to accommodate them. So she has her things, like I said, very well organized. She has them by seasonal. You can see she has dishes and glassware. She had a huge section of just frames. She had a huge section of candles. Um, I, I love this one. I love that little hobnail milk glass. You know, you can see right here all the different kind of candles she has. She had a lot of candle holders. And I thought these little measuring cups real, right here were really unique. I've never seen any that were wooden. And this right here, this little goblet, I don't know if that was pewter, but that is absolutely beautiful. Now, she had another section that she had a lot of lamps. And y'all know I love lamps. So I had a, a fun time shopping in her little lamp section. And she had a lot of linens. And like I say, she has everything set up so nice that you feel like you're in an actual store. She's got it priced well, you know, where you can see the prices. You don't have to ask her. She has it displayed on hangers where it's hung up and very well organized to where you really enjoy your shopping experience at her yard sales actually her very my very first yard sale that I ever went to was one that she put on and after I went to her yard sale that is what just got me addicted to them ever since then I was just combing the newspaper every weekend to see where another yard sale was because I thought that was so much fun and I got so many good things at affordable prices so she is really the one that kind of introduced me to going thrifting and doing yard sales to get budget-friendly home decor and, and clothes, shoes, and handbags, jewelry. So it, it is so much fun just to go out for the hunt also. 
Now, she had a lot of beaded garland at this yard sale, and I love beaded garland. She had, like, like I say, she had a lot of seasonal items. She had a section set up for Christmas, and she did have this pretty little pumpkin. She said she loved pumpkins like I did, and she said she also loved rabbits. She didn't have any rabbits, though, so she must be keeping all of her rabbit decor. She had some beautiful baskets, and y'all can see that very large basket right there. She only had $1 on that. I thought these hooks were really pretty. This is something, you know, if you go to Hobby Lobby and purchase, there is no telling what you'd pay for them a piece. And she had $3 on all of them. So I thought $1, that was a great price. Because these make great hooks to put on the back of your door, you know, to put your jewelry on. Or you could just play them in your kitchen and put kitchen items on them. Now I thought these little merc mercury glass... I think these are mercury glass. I thought these little vo candle votives were really cute. And she had $1 each on those. This was a really pretty little metal type little planter basket. And then she had a stack of these little nesting pots. And she had $1 on each of these. I love the little rusted patina on those. And they were metal. So I thought that was a great deal on those. She also had, you know, several pieces of furniture at her sale. And, you know, just... Like I say, you could I could have spent half the day there. I was there, like I told y'all, for about an hour and a half, and I had to really wrap it up because we had groceries in the car, and I know we needed to get home and do some more things. This was a huge candlestick. It was so heavy, and I was trying to turn it over to see the price and be real careful not to break it, but that huge candlestick was only $3. But I'm just going to pan you around and let you see some of the home decor items and how well that she displays them in her garage and how beautiful they are. That really large neutral uh, wall decor uh, item that she had, I think she had 40 on it. I thought it would be a really pretty piece, but I, I did not know where I would put it to, you know, so I didn't get it, but I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. She had two huge shelving units that were loaded down with a lot of home decor. And y'all, I about cleaned out her shelves. I told her she wasn't going to have a lot left for her actual yard sale. <laughs> but I, like I say, I thought it was so sweet. She asked if I wanted to come over and pre-shop. I'm going to be spoiled now because it was just the ultimate shopping experience. This cute little mirror here. I love the little ornate detail on it. It was $3. And look at this distress a bird in this round frame. This was so pretty. I love it. It was three. She had several dough bowls. This one right here, I think, was three or maybe five dollars, and it was a really good size. But like I say, a lot of her items that she has for her home, they're very unique items, and they're things that you would probably only get at more of like a specialty boutique uh, type home decor store or maybe like at Pier 1. But a lot of them, you know, if they're not your style, if you find things at yard sales and they're not exactly your style or your color, a lot of these items could be brought home and easily painted to fit in, you know, in your home. But here's another beaded garland. Like I say, she had a lot of these, but I love beaded garland and I decorate with it a lot throughout my home. Now, this little galvanized little planner right here was a cute little piece. And look, she only had $1 on it. This little basket right here had a little metal vintage plaque on the front, and then it had some plastic on the inside, so I'm sure you could put, you know, a plant in it and set it indoors, or you could actually set it outdoors, and that way the inside of the basket doesn't get wet and it won't get ruined. I thought these cute little cutting boards right here were absolutely adorable, adorable, and she had 75 cents on these. So, y'all, I just wanted to bring y'all along today and show y'all all the great things that my friend had at her yard sale. And I didn't even show y'all all the clothes she had. But be looking forward to the, the yard sale haul because I've got a lot of little videos coming up. There's just going to be many videos of the things that I got. And like I told y'all, I'll tell y'all the price that I spent. And I'll tell you the total of everything that I got once I get those videos up. So be on the lookout for those. I hope y'all enjoyed my first yard sale for 2023. Okay, y'all, that is going to wrap up today's video. I appreciate y'all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, I have a new YouTube channel, y'all, so make sure to go over and subscribe to it, Teresa Green. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel also so we can stay connected. I've got a lot of content coming your way. 
as always, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.